The Troy Way commitment embraces an all-in, all-the-time attitude. Our 2017 game schedule features many in-state rivals that will be played during the midweek that we know Trojans one and all will want to be there. These games are for bragging rights within the state, and we hope to see you at home and whenever we go to Jacksonville, Auburn, Tuscaloosa, Montgomery, and Birmingham. In February, we go to Birmingham on back-to-back -back Tuesdays to face Sanford and UAB. This will be the third consecutive year we will play UAB at Regents Field. During spring break, we travel to Tuscaloosa to face Alabama. Also in March, we play Sanford at home right before we open our conference schedule. In the month of April, we will face five different in-state rivals. We hope to fill Riddle Place Field when Alabama and UAB make the trip to Troy. On the road, we will take on Alabama State, Jacksonville State, and Auburn. We start an eight-game homestand with Jacksonville State in May. Also part of that homestand is a visit from the Hornets of Alabama State. I'm Joey Dennison, outfielder for the Trojans. Join me and my teammates as we take on our in-state rivals. We need you at real pace and on the road for an all-in, all-the-time attitude. That inspires each one of us to accept the challenge every day. One-third of our 2017 schedule features opponents that made an NCAA regional appearance last season including the team that won the College World Series. We opened the season with four games against 2016 Big East champions, Xavier University. The Musketeers defeated Vanderbilt and Washington in the National Regional before losing in the Regional Championship. Southeastern Louisiana received an at-large bid to the Baton Rouge Regional. We won the series last year at Southeastern, and this year we will face the Lions during the Cox Diamond Invitational in Pensacola, Florida. Louisiana Lafayette hosted NCAA Regional in 2016. The Raging Cajuns defeated Princeton and Arizona before losing in the regional final to Arizona, the eventual College World Series runner-up. We opened the Sunbelt Conference season with a visit from the reigning Sunbelt Tournament champions on March 24th. The SWAT champions Alabama State made their first appearance in an NCAA Regional traveling to Tallahassee. As we do every year, we will play the Hornets in Montgomery and Troy in 2017. For the first time in our Division I history, we will face the defending national champions. April 28th through the 30th, we will travel to play Coastal Carolina University. The Shawnee Clears join the Sun Belt one day after winning in Omaha. The last four games of our regular season will be on the road against two regional teams. First, we will travel to Starkville for a midweek game against Mississippi State. The Bulldogs hosted and won the regional but lost to Arizona in the Super Regional. We will close out a regular season against the defending Sun Belt champions, South Alabama. The Jaguars lost in the Tallahassee Regional Championship game to Florida State. I'm Corey Childress, pitcher for the Trojans. In all, we played 18 games against opponents who made a regional last season. We commit to you that we will work hard to accept the challenge every day. Compete like a champion every minute. Every year, one of our goals is to bring home the Sun Belt Conference Championship. In 2017, we returned seven starters from last year's lineup. The last time Troy brought home the conference championship was in 2013. We've been working hard as a team to get back to that top spot. In order to reach our goals this year, we have to be successful against these conference foes. As mentioned previously, nine of our 30 conference games are against teams we played in the NCAA Regional last season. We will face Louisiana Lafayette in the opening weekend of the conference season at Real Pace. We make our first ever conference trip to Conway, South Carolina to face the defending national champions, Coastal Carolina, on April 28th through the 30th. And we travel to South Alabama to close out the season. We take on three other conference opponents on the road. In the months of March and April, we will make trips to Little Rock, Texas Arlington, and Georgia State. We take on Georgia State in a Thursday through Saturday series on Easter weekend. Along with Louisiana Lafayette, four other teams will travel to Riddle Pace Field. Georgia Southern, the host of the 2017 Sunbelt Conference Tournament, returns to Troy in early April. Two teams we face at home have never beaten us on our home turf. In 2015, we swept Texas State and we did the same last season to Appalachian State. Our final home series will be against Louisiana Monroe. I'm Mark Skinner, senior right-handed pitcher for the Trojans. On the Sunday of that final series, nine other seniors and I will play our last game here at Riddle Pace Field. This has been a very special place to all of us. We want to bring that championship back here to Troy, and in order for us to do it, we have to compete like a champion every minute with a relentless pursuit every second. Our first four weekends are non-conference weekend series, two at home and two on the road. Our first trip will be to the University of New Orleans, where we will be making our first trip back there since 2010, when they were in the Sunbelt Conference. The third weekend of the season we play in Pensacola, Florida, which will be our fourth consecutive year making the trip to Pensacola. 
The Cox Diamond Invitational this year will feature Seton Hall, South Alabama, and Southeast Louisiana, our three opponents. A real quality event hosted at the AA Ballpark of the Cincinnati Reds. The final non-conference weekend series we will be hosting Hofstra University. The unique thing about this series, it's a four game series like we played in the past. However, it'll begin on Thursday evening and move all the way through Sunday with each game carrying its own day. 2017 opening weekend is always a special event. This year is no different. We host Xavier University in a four game series. But most importantly for me, the 1987 National Championship team will be celebrating its 30th year on our field on Saturday, February 18th. I look forward to having a lot of former teammates back on campus to celebrate that team in 2017. Our challenge this year for our team will be to pay respect to that team throughout the course of our season in order to forever honor our tradition.